In America recently, there seems to be the notion that the black male between the age of 15 and 25 is a threat. This type of branding is described as the subjective criminalization of black men, the inability for individuals to separate a black male identity from crime. These types of prejudices have significantly damaged the black male's reputation and altered their mental health. The Black Male College Explores program is a statewide program designed to address and overcome these issues. It's a, a very well needed uh, mentoring program for black males in our community. It's basically help us stay on the right track and with some of those that are not on the right track to get them back on the right track and keep them on the right track. I like the way that they nurture us. Like, uh, it's like a very caring program. They nurture us and make us become black men in society. And they help us to stay on the right track and to keep up the good work. On the campus of Florida A&M University, the Black Male College Explores program was founded by former FAMU president, Frederick Humphrey, and Senator Anthony C. Hill Sr. Both Floridians started the program to improve the academic performance of young black men from grades 7 through 12. In 1990, the program was initiated to encourage at-risk black males to remain in high school and continue on to college, resulting in over $6 million being allocated for the program in Florida's four historically black colleges and universities. The four HBCUs of Florida include Florida A&M University, Bethune-Cookman University, Edward Waters College, and Florida Memorial University. The Black Male College Explores program was established on the campus of Edward Waters College in 1993. Currently, under the direction of Darren Gartner, the Black Male College Explorers program at Edward Waters College knows the importance of having such a program in place for the Jacksonville residents. All the, all the stuff that's done behind the scenes, I do that. Then I also do the hands-on stuff. I also do the mentoring. I also do the tutoring. I also, you know, go to basketball games. I also, you know, talk to kids about, you know, um, various um, things that they face as a young man coming up. You know, some of our kids, they uh, face uh, various adversities in life and I help them uh, personally overcome them as well as my scrum mentors who uh, support me and the efforts and goals here for the Black Male College Sports Program. A misguided youth himself, Gartner knows all too well the challenges that black males face. I grew up with six brothers and sisters. You know, we grew up in the projects, uh, single parent home. You know, uh, face a lot of adversities that the young men who are in the Black Middle Sports program face. But it's because of his first-hand experiences with growing up in poverty and being negatively influenced by local criminals that Gardner so readily accepts his position as the director of the Black Male College Explorers program. One thing in particular that put me in, this, in that position is not having a positive role model. I didn't have a positive black male that I could look up to for advice and for knowledge and stuff like that. But but what I can honestly say is the black males that did uh, push me the right way and didn't allow me to spray in the right, wrong direction, uh, rather. Those guys, they were neighborhood guys. They were the, they were the guys who uh, were doing all the bad things. But they uh, cared enough about me, uh, saw enough in me that they wouldn't allow me to turn into them. I am Edward Everson III. I am Theodis Whitehampton. And I'm Roland Young. And we are mentors for the Black Male College Explorers Program. Yeah. I'm 18 years old. I've been in the Black Male College Explorers Program for six years now. Uh, I like the mentoring process that we go through, the academics, the recreation. I like the, um, the environment that is set. It's a, always a positive atmosphere when we go around there. And it, it creates like a family outside of a family. I have A's and B's, a couple of C's. It could be better, and I'm improving on that. But black male, it's still it's a molding process, so it doesn't just it's not a quick turnaround. But it, my grades have definitely improved since I've been in this program. At the end of the day, you made the decision to where you want to be, either in the streets or out of the streets, either in the class or skipping class. So at the end of the day, it's up to you to do the right thing so that you can take yourself to where you need to be in life. My name is Jaquan Baker. Um, I'm 15 years old, and this is my fourth year in the Black Male College Storage Program.
Some things that I like about the program, at first, I just like the brotherhood. I just think with us all getting together during the summer, um, I just think it brings us closer. I like the fact that they take time to teach us life lessons, just to make us better men, and just to equip us for life, basically. Because when I first got into the program, I did struggle a lot. I was on the borderline between passing and being retained. But with black male, the course of tutoring and all that, my first year, it got me back on track, which, which gave me that extra push to get to where I am now. I have nine brothers, um, so I understand uh, the plight of the black male. We have a lot of African-American males, black males, who do not seem to understand the, the need or the value for education. Kedrick King is a seven-year-old in the Duval County public school system. His parents describe him as smart, energetic, and inquisitive. Recently, however, Kedrick was suspended from school for carrying a loaded BB gun. We was doing great in school, making good grades. And the teacher called saying that he brought a toy gun to school, that he was suspended for a couple of days. So I just went up there and pretty much picked him up and talked to his principal, talked to him. They had two pictures of the gun. And, and from there, I, I asked him, why, why would he bring it to school? And he, he said he wanted to show his friends and to let them know they had that, I guess, that to fit in. I feel kind of heartbroken because it seems like everybody doesn't love me because a lot of some people in school hate me. I don't know why. I love you, okay? It's okay, everybody went through that before. Not the people in school. They don't go through it? That, you know, maybe he needs something or somebody that was going to be there and mentor him and allow him to channel his positive qualities into, you know, and to keep him into something positive. I thought that the Black Mill College Explore program would be something good for him because they mentor the kids and... His parents are concerned with the direction of his life and are eager to get Kedrick enrolled in a program such as the Black Male College Explorers program. The goals of the Black Male College Explorers program at Edward Waters College are to provide experiences that will prevent this demographic from dropping out of school, facilitate preparedness to enter the workforce, facilitate their admission to college, and significantly increase their chances of earning a college degree. The Black Male College Explores program has two major components, academic and summer. During the summer program, students enjoy the luxury of living on campus at one of Edward Waters College's residential halls. They're provided meals each day and are exposed to the academic interpenance of the institution. I did most of my mentoring during the summer. After lunch, we have to take the kids out and create activities, different activities to accommodate the different kids we have. Students profess their love for the summer program as they are taken on informative field trips around the world. Um, I think the summer program, that's part of, uh, I think it, it brings us together because we spend each day of the summer of the week together, bonding. So I think, I know we have some difficulties with each other, but in the end, in the summer, when it's all said and done, we love each other and we want to be around each other. The atmosphere, like always, uh, it's like a brother atmosphere when we come along. When we, when we, when I, when I first came into the program, I was, I was young, so I didn't really understand the real meaning behind being a part of Black Man College Explorers. But as I got up in age, like towards my second year in the program, I understood that this was actually a unified process and being black male is something that I bled, I ate, I slept it. Black male was actually something that began to grow inside of me. And I realized it was a, it was a bigger picture than just saying I'm a black male because it's a lot come behind being a black male in society. And then being incorporated in a program that has black male attached to it, it comes a lot. So it, it was something that I enjoyed. Okay, what? Students in the summer program recognize the enormous privilege of visiting college campuses in New York, Atlanta, and beyond. My favorite trip, I got to say, that we took was to New York. I had never been to a, a more a popular city like that before. We got to see the 9-11 uh, memorial 
before they turned into the fountain. I also like the church that we took to Atlanta because I got to go to Martin Luther King's old church or the new, the newer church of his old church, Ebenezer Baptist. Um, I actually got interviewed to talk about the Trayvon Martin case at that church. It made me feel good. It made me not feel just for a day or not just for the summer or a few workshops, but for a lifetime. We build lifetime relationships with our mentees and that's what our mentors understand when they accept um, to be a part of the program. They build lifetime relationships. We actually take them to Florida State. We take them to Florida a and University. We take them to the University of Miami. We take them to Alabama, you know? Like, that is what we do. So Usually, students in grades seven through 12 with depressed grade point averages, that doesn't, however, reflect the overall potential of the student are eligible for the program. Additionally, black male students with a history of disciplinary problems or the propensity to display irregular behavior are also selected. It's okay to, to, to need a little help, but you keep moving forward and you will too reach your goal. Black Mary College Sport did actually save my life because if it wasn't for them, I don't know where I would be right now. Well, if it wasn't for them and God, I don't know where I would be right now. Because of Black Man College Sports program, I am no longer a statistic. The degree to which their goals and expected outcomes are met will be determined by the efforts of staff and guided by the counselor who will monitor and document student progress and achievement in the program. This program will continue to thrive and uh, I will always um, have black male college sports deeply embedded into my heart. My life. I just got to thank the whole black male program period for allowing me these last six years of my life to be awesome. When I grow up, I, I don't want people to be like me. I want my friends to be better than me. I want people around me who say they follow me to be better than me. I look forward to walking across that stage June 3rd with my high school diploma. Um, I look forward to seeing that smile on my mom's face when it's time to take that picture. Um, I look forward to making my family proud of me, knowing that my mom has struggled for the last 18 years to raise me by herself, being a single mother. I look to make her proud. Everything I do, I owe it to her. It's not about where you start. It's where you finish. And Black Male College Explorers program is priceless.